It is primary day in New Jersey. Voters deciding on some key races tonight, including races in the House and Senate. CBS 2's Christine Sloan live in Cranford. Looking ahead, Christine. Maurice, one of the more consequential races is for indicted U.S. Senator Robert Menendez's seat. Now, I spoke to him yesterday as he was leaving for the day his corruption and bribery uh, trial. And he told me he'd gotten enough signatures to have his name placed on the November ballot to run as an independent. Tonight, voters will be choosing a Republican and Democratic candidate. Congressman Andy Kim is facing union organizer Patricia Campos Medina on the Democratic side. Kim asking a federal judge in the spring to change the county line ballot system that he argued gave the governor's wife, Tammy Murphy, an unfair advantage. Murphy ended up dropping out of the race. You know, right now the, the sitting senator uh, that we're trying to replace is in court. And I think that that's something that's, you know, creating so much sense of frustration amongst voters in New Jersey and across this country. Senator Robert Menendez told me on Monday he has turned in more than 2,000 signatures to have his name placed on the November ballot and run as an independent. But Campos Medina says she's the candidate for the job. New Jersey deserves a leader who is looking towards the future of New Jersey. How are we going to go to Washington, D.C. and bring resources back and fight for our, for our children's future? Businessman Curtis Bashaw, who owns several hotels, including Congress Hall in Cape May, is running on the Republican side. Inflation's too high. We need better jobs in our state. People want a secure border. They want to support law enforcement. His opponent, Christina Serrano Glasner, has been endorsed by former President Donald Trump. Her campaign did not return our calls. Bashaw says he's a strong supporter of Israel. I think what's happened on our college campuses with this rise in anti Semitism was a disgrace to our values of free speech and free assembly. And I think Andy Kim's silence on these things is, is deafening, quite frankly. He voted against the anti-Semitism bill. Pretty much everyone I talk to wants to make sure that the hostages get out. But we also want to make sure that you know, the humanitarian assistance is there, that we can stop this potential famine in northern Gaza, try to bring this violence to a close. Activist Larry Hamm is also running on the Democratic side. Maurice, it's going to be a big night, and we'll be out here, and we'll have all the latest for you coming up later tonight. We're live in Cranford, New Jersey. Christine Sloan, CBS 2 News. You bet. We'll see you then. Thank you, Christine. And we will be following the New Jersey races all night long. We'll bring you the updated election results on air and online at CBSNewYork.com.